What's up guys? Welcome to your 43rd Android tutorial for the new boss and again with me Travis. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically fix our other error that we have within our Android. That's an annoying little splash sound. Um, what we're going to do is fix basically our Android, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, other error that we're getting when we take a picture it sets it and then when our emulator goes off to its side such as let's see like this it's going to reset the picture back to this default icon and before we get started it's going to be a real quick tutorial but before we get started I want to show you guys how to turn the emulator outside pretty simple um, I believe if you guys just shut off your numpad if you guys are on Windows and then just hit 7 or 9 on your numpad it'll change it or you can hit control let me see control F11 um, it's not working for me I think it might be a Mac thing but I believe it's control F11 and F12 or F10 one of those and that will change the emulator over to basically this is landscape mode and this is portrait mode which is going to be important for this tutorial but basically what we're going to do is we're going to fix the orientation and also now that I think about it just uh, I mean you guys don't really probably care about this but this little app name we can do that as well we're going to change that so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial pretty quickly pretty simply and how we do that is we set that code up within the Android manifest so I want you guys to open that up and scroll down to our camera application and first to change this title it's referring to the string variable app name so you guys can change this to like camera application or something like that if you want and then it'll change the title or label I should say nothing too important but we can also set up some a different uh, some different initialization kind of codes within this activity um, opening bracket of the activity of our class that we want to mess around with and we can use basically a code called Android dot and as you guys can see there's quite a few different codes we can do within the manifest so that's pretty neat we're gonna say set orientation I believe it is but now it's not coming up so I gotta make sure I gotta think I believe it's set orient no Oh yeah, I always I always mess up on this one for some reason. It's screen orientation, and we can set the screen orientation either to landscape or portrait. So what we want to do is have it kind of like this because we kind of set it up in XML for a portrait view. So we're gonna keep it portrait the whole time. So is that how you spell portrait? I believe so. Let's check it out. Make sure my spelling's right. And uh, basically that's the end of the tutorial pretty quickly pretty quick like I said oh and also this brings up another point if you guys want to run your actual application on your Android phone if you guys have an Android phone I don't really want to waste my time within the series telling you guys how to do that but on my website I have a blog post that kind of walks you guys through that and if also if you guys have any additional questions of what we're doing if, I, if I'm not making sense um, you guys can contact me through that email I did in that other tutorial where uh, we set up that hate mail or whatever um, you guys can contact me at that email and I'll try and help you guys out as best I can and you know because I don't I can't really get any feedback because Bucky wants like 200 tutorials so I can't see if I'm moving too fast or if I, everything that I say is confusing I know some things are confusing for the most part but it'll get better um, some of those things will get better but some I just don't know if you guys are completely confused on like the life cycle like you know the activity extending activity if you guys are still confused about that or not but I know some of the bitmap and still at list view is probably kind of confusing but let's check out make sure our application works as you can see we changed the application name right here and uh, when we switch it over to landscape mode it's a fixed orientation at portrait mode so it's not going to rechange basically everything and that will get rid of that error that uh, that we had with this bitmap and I, I know I, I told you guys about running on your phone I don't know if I told you guys I have a blog post or not on my website but uh, I, I know I started saying that but I'm not sure if I said that or not so again uh, my website's mybringback.com um, so you guys can check that out 
and get some additional help as well as some more Android tutorials. I have a basic series if this if you aren't liking the way that I'm teaching this one. Um, it's kind of a different teaching style, but hopefully you guys um, like this tutorial. Pretty neat, especially for game development. A lot of times you want to set the screen orientation to landscape only. Um, so that's how you can do that is just with this code within the Android manifest for the activity that you're working for. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Peace.